Hello everybody and welcome to Unwilled Machine here. Uh, it's Unwilled here bringing you guys our first how-to video. I don't know if there's going to be too many of these how-to videos, but it's going to be on how to add face cam slash overlay to your gaming videos. Okay, so the first thing you guys are going to want to do is head on to your internet browser and uh, download Microsoft Expression Encore Screen Capture Codec. So you're just going to want to go into Google and just download or just uh, Google download from Microsoft Expression for yeah or just just something like that you're just gonna click download here make sure it's on the Microsoft site though because if it's not on the Microsoft site you're probably just downloading a bunch of viruses and just messing up your whole computer so now once we're done that or once you're done that you're just gonna want to head into Microsoft Expression which I already have downloaded at the very bottom of my screen you probably won't be able to see it but here it is it's just gonna be starting up here so this is kind of the basic look of it it also has a screen capture. If you look to this, just to the left of the window we just opened, there's like going to be an EE screen with four, and then there's like a red dot in the middle of it. It's a, it's a decent screen recorder. Records in HD, but it only records up to 10 minutes per time. So it's great if you um if you're only recording videos that are 10 minutes or less. But uh, for what we do on Unreal Machine, Minecraft, uh, Happy Wheels, and all that kind of stuff, we kind of went we, we went with action. Because it's just him, you can record forever. So we actually downloaded the full thing of action, and it was nice. So here we go. So now we're, this is kind of the basic. This is all, this is, yeah, the window you're going to be looking at when you're making your videos. Okay, so you're going to hit file on the top there in the top menu, and you're just going to import. So we're just going to import a video. Mm, let's say Happy Wheels. No, no, not Happy Wheels. We'll go, we'll go with a bit of Minecraft right here. We'll go with Minecraft Survival 1. So we just download that into our just click on the import that just like that and now we're gonna go file or wait you're not gonna want to do that so you're gonna see this like there's now you have the video just underneath the video and to the far left of this program you're gonna see the hundred percent it looks like just gonna click on that if it'll let us click on that I guess not it doesn't really want us to click on that so we'll go, there we go, so there we go, now we're going to go down to fit to screen, you're just going to scroll down a little bit, there's fit to screen just like that, and now we got the whole thing on the screen like that, this was actually when we didn't have the full thing of action, so we have like a little action thing across the top, which kind of sucks, but oh well. So now you're going to go down, now we're going to go to the right side of the, uh, the program here, and we're going to go down here, as you can see this box that's moving, we're going to go down to visual overlay. So we're going to go click on, there's going to be a box that says add overlay, you're going to click that, and now it's going to bring us back to here. And now we're just going to pick one of our face cam videos here. It's not going to actually match with the video, but that's okay. We're just going to use one of the ones I think we did today. And there we go. So now it's going to add an overlay option. So there we go. There's the, there's my face. And uh, it's right here. So now we're just going to move it over to, we normally go top left. And now see, you can even edit how big you want it. You want it really small. You can't see it at all. Or do you want it like bigger so it takes up you know most of the screen you can move it into the middle of the screen all corners normally you'd pick a corner I don't know why you'd go right in the middle of the screen but if you really wanted to you could but we normally go top left so we're just gonna go make it uh like you know about, about that big so yeah just like that and there's our face cam right there so now we're gonna go back to the right side of the screen and you're gonna see if you see those there's gonna be like little lighting up on the very top of the right and you're going to want to go to on-coding quality. Okay, so on-coding quality, this is just making your video in HD and it makes it look a lot nicer. So we're going to click on that and you're going to want to go down, you're going to see best quality. Okay, so that's what you're going to want. So best quality, you're going to click that and then just below it there's going to be apply. It's just going to light up a few times here for you guys to notice it. So you're just going to click apply. So you want to click apply almost after everything you do. Go back to on-coding quality, click that, double click it. Then you're going to go down to on coding for devices. It's going to light up a few times here for you guys. And you're going to click that. And you're going to want to go down to WMV because that's what YouTube does accept. So click on that. And then you're going to go down to. You're going to want to go to VVC-1 Xbox 360 HD 1080p or Xbox 360 HD 720p. So any of these two that are lighting up on your screen right now. So we normally go with 720p. Because it just, I don't know, it just makes it a little bit easier. So you click on that, apply. Okay, so now it makes your video look a little bit nicer. But you're going to want to, again, you're going to want to, you know, make sure your face cam is still 
how you want it. Because normally, like I've had a, the issue before that my well, it kind of changed. See, look at how small, look how small my face cam is now. And that's just because we changed it a little bit. So you're gonna want to change your face cam a little bit as well. So be careful about that. That could definitely ruin your videos. I've had that happen multiple times. So then you're gonna want to go to file and then on code right here or control E whichever one you want and then it's gonna go like this and it's gonna start on coding okay so then this is gonna go down around in a circle and then it'll end when it's all done so we've got about an hour and ten minutes to wait what's well, going down really fast but we're not gonna actually wait that whole amount of time we're just gonna go to a video that we've already done like that so let's go Got to look all over my desktop here, looking for the right thing. It's pretty messy. I'm sorry about that. Uh, where are you at, videos? I am having a very tough time finding my videos here. Okay, there we go. So videos to upload. We just added Minecraft Feed the Beast in. So here we go. This we're just gonna play the beginning of our of Minecraft Feed the Beast episode here. This is a little bit from FIFA in real life on the screen. But that's not what we quite what we wanted. Come on. Computer's not really agreeing with us to do what we want it to do. But I'll just show you guys a little bit of how the videos do look once they are fully rendered and done. It's not really too stoked about working, but come on, come on. Ain't nobody got time for you to do this. It's telling me something. Oh, does not want to go in the required time. Now we're going to click it. Oh, I heard it. It was going to start. Everybody, and welcome back to Minecraft. So this is the how the beast, beast actually looks. I am your host, right Unreal, here, here bringing you guys episode two. So in episode in one, we kind of Minecraft just kind of got ourselves in this little hut right here, adding it to Happy Wheels and all that. And, uh, so this is yeah, how now it we're looks. In a bit of a so we made sure the hut was by. We found like a really ravine. good and, and uh, just out the door, free, but I'm a little bit scared because we have a creeper who is not. You not get the same quality gameplay if you don't actually buy a decent screen recorder. I can't see him, get so I'm a little bit scared of where he's actually All this decent, hiding. like, are the decent face cam in the gameplay video, uh, depending if you use, like, really Bandicam or anything like that. Bandicam's probably the best I would like to free, write down those coordinates quickly. I just want to put this on my phone. A little bit laggy, not Just in case I get blown to hell by that creeper, I don't want to be, I don't, you know, I don't want to be like, I don't know where all my shit get killed. But yeah, so this is, that's basically the whole thing you guys let's go back to the desktop so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I actually hope it really taught you guys how to do this and I hope you guys found this video way before you looked as long as I had to to find a decent overlay slash face cam device that would actually put it in my gameplay videos and make it look nice so thanks for watching everybody peace out hello everybody and welcome to an